Shalom, shalom, shalom. It's a beautiful day out here today. And I'd like to start off by saying all oh, praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba Hashem, Kadash. Salutations to the hopeful elects spread around the globe. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And today's topic is going to be who are the true Israelites of today. And we are, we are a day today. Um, I'm going to be reading some scriptures to back everything I say up. And remember, just like I told you in the last lesson, you need to keep an open mind in the sense that for you to inherit the kingdom of heaven, you need to be like a little child and learn most of the things you think you know and give space for something new. Uh, because this is this is going to be something new to most of y'all and what i would say is this truth isn't for everybody so you know just like the scriptures say my sheep are going to hear me and they, they're going to follow so this truth is not for everybody so just feel free to ask some questions in the comment section below if you have any questions so we're going to start off right now as we all know, Jacob's name became Israel, and he had 12 sons, which later became the nation of Israel. So as we study through the scriptures, we understand that um, they always fall out because they were stiff-necked people. They had commandments that they were meant to follow. But one way or the other, they always fall out and worship other gods of the other nations. So I am going to start by reading from the book of Judges, chapter 2, verse 6. And when Joshua had let the people go, the children of Israel went every man unto his inheritance to, protect, to possess the land, Salakia. And the people served the Lord, Yahweh. All the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great works of the Lord Yahweh that he did for Israel. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord Yahweh, died being an hundred and ten years old. And they buried him in the border of his inheritance in Timnah Teres, in the mount of Ephraim, on the north side of the hill Gash. And also all that generation were gathered unto their fathers, and there arose another generation after them, which knew not the Lord Yahweh, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord Yahweh and served Baalim. And they forsook the Lord Yahweh of their fathers, which the Lord Yahweh power of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt and followed other gods of the gods of the people that were around about them and bowed themselves unto them and provoked the Lord Yahweh to hunger. And they forsook the Lord and served Baalim and Ashtaroth. And the anger of the Lord Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, was hot against Israel and he delivered them into the hands of the spoilers that spoiled them. And he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about, so that they could no any longer stand before their enemies. So as we can read from these verses, this pattern repeats itself all the time. They are stiff-necked people. They forget their Lord, Yahweh. And go after the gods of other nations. So whenever they do this, they get punished. They go into captivity and they get sold to their enemies. So I'm going to prove that with some other verses. We're going to read from the book of 2 Kings. 2 Kings 24. 24.14, which quotes, And he carried away all Jerusalem and all the princes and all the mighty men of Valor, even 10,000 captives, and all the craftsmen and smiths, 
none remained save the poorest sort of people of the land and he carried away Joachim to Babylon and the king's mother and the king's wives and his officers and the mighty of the land those carried he into the captivity from Jerusalem to Babylon we can see again the same pattern repeating itself they forsake their God Yahweh and go after the idols of other nations so they get always this pattern happens all the time i'm going to read from another verse to prove the same thing happening again so we're going to read from the book of jeremiah from the book of jeremiah 29 29 and we read from verse 4 thus said the lord yahweh of host the god of israel Unto all that were carried away captive, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. So we can see they were carried away captives again. So this repeats itself all the time. They are stiff necked people, remember? They always forsake their God, Yahweh, and go after the gods of other nations. And here again, they go into captivity. So I'm going to read from the book of Esdras. First Estrus, chapter 6, verse 16, which quotes, Who pulled down... Okay, so I'm going to read from verse 15, Salakia. But when our fathers provoked God unto wrath and sinned against Yahweh of Israel, which is in heaven, he gave them over into the power of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon of the Chaldees who pulled down the houses and burned it and carried away the people captives into Babylon. So we see the same pattern happening again and again. So now we're going to ask ourselves, who are these people that always carry them captives? These were the Babylonians. These were the people from other nations, people who hated Israel, who never wanted Israel to reign. So I am going to close this series of scriptures by reading from the book of Second Chronicles. Sorry, Slakia. Second Chronicles twenty eight seventeen. Twenty eight seventeen. So over here we read for again the Edomites take notes, the Edomites take notes. Of the Edomites because we're going to do a lesson on the Edomites so for again the Edomites had come and smitten Judah and carried away captives so you see Edomites came over took them away captives again so why am I sharing all this scriptures so we are going to read from the book of Deuteronomy 28 verse 15 where we have the curses that are being placed upon the israelites whenever they decide to worship other gods and forsake the commandments of their god yahweh ba hashem yahweh shai so if we read from the from verse 15 it states what well, it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the lord yahweh ba hashem yahweh shai to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in. Cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke in all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do, until thou be destroyed and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doing, whereby thou hast forsaken me. The Lord Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until, until he have consumed thee from off the land 
whither thou goest to possess it. The Lord Yahweh shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever and with, a, with an inflammation and with an extreme burning, with the sword and with blasting and with middles, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. So I am going to stop here. We have a lot more courses. If you want to go through it by yourself, you can go through it. So the question is, who are the true Israelites? Are they the people occupying the land of Israel today claiming to be the Jews or those who were sold into slavery? Here is the answer. You can find them on this chart. And remember what I told you in the last video. In order for you to inherit the kingdom of heaven, you have to come back like a little child. So coming back as a little child means on learning most of the things you think you know and giving more space for new things to be learned. With this said, I would like to end this video. The next video, I would explain to you more who these enemies are. So, I would like to give all glory, all praises, and thanks to the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rukakadash. And I would like to send my salutations to all the hopeful elect spread around the globe, doing a great work, spreading the truth. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.